I am reading in Colossians um, chapter 1, Paul, an apostle of the Lord Jesus Christ, by the will of God, and to Timothy our brother, and to the saints, and to the faithful brethren in Christ, which is in Colossians, grace be unto you, and peace from the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, Paul's thanksgiving uh, to the Colossians. We give thanks to God, our Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, praying always uh, for you since we have heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and that the love which you have on all the saints for the hope which is laid up for you in heaven whereof you have heard before the world and of the truth which is come unto you as in all the world and bringing forth fruit and does also in you since the day you have heard of it and knew the grace of God its truth as you also have learned in Ephesians, our dear fellow servants, who is in faith and faithful ministry of Christ. Christ means the anointed one. Who also delivered us unto us love in the spirit. For this cause we also, since the day we have heard it, do not cease to pray for you to desire that you might be filled with knowledge of his will and all wisdom and spiritual understanding that you might walk worthy of the Lord unto all pleasings being fruitful in every good works increasing in the knowledge of God strengthened with all might according to his glorious power unto all patience and long suffering with joyfulness and us children of God have that, don't we? Giving thanks unto the Father, which he made us, meant to make, be partakers of the inheritance to all the saints in life. Light. Whom has delivered us from the power of darkness and has translated us into the kingdom of his dear son, Yeshua, Jesus. In whom we have redeemed, in whom we have redeemed through His blood alone. Hello, even the forgiveness of our sins. Who is in the image of the invisible and the first of every creature? Firstborn of every creature. For by Him were all things created that are in heaven, and that is are in the earth visible or invisible whether they be thorns or dominance or prince and powers the powers of darkness and were created by him for him and in him before all things were by all things were considered and he is the head of the body of the church who is the beginning of the firstborn of the dead and in him all things be might and be have proceeds for it pleads the father that is in him should all the fullness be dwell and having <clears throat> and having made peace and the blood of the cross the blood of the cross yes and by his reconcile all things unto him by him I say whether they be things in the earth or things in heaven you in you whoever you are that you some time alliance and the enemy in your mind by the wicked works yet now have reconciled you reconciled it in the body of his flesh through death and the presence of your holy and unblameless approach in his sight if you continue in faith growing and setting in by moved away and hope of the gospel which you have heard which is the preach of every creature which is under heaven whereof I Paul a minister who now rejoices in my sacrifice for you for the fulfilling that which is behind the affections of Christ the anointed one and the my flesh in my body's sake which is the church wherefore I made the ministries according to my dispensions of God which is given to me for you the fullness of the word that means the word of God for every mystery which has been hidden from ages to generations 
but now is made manifestations to his saints. We're understanding what he was talking about. To whom God would make known unto the riches of his glory in the mysteries unto the Gentiles, which is in Christ the anointed one to you, the hope of glory, whom we preach, warning every man and teaching every man in all wisdom that you may present every man a perfect in the anointed one, Christ Jesus. Whereunto I also labor and serving according to the, his works, which work is in, in me mightily. Now, we are here to tell every believer, um, I mean, to have, to preach the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ to anyone that will take and listen and pay attention. God created this heaven and earth. Everything that is, was, or ever will be, God made. God gave us a way back through Adam, um, sold us out, but the second Adam, Jesus, gave us life back. Now, I'm telling you, in the love of the Lord Jesus Christ, Jesus died and he rose just for you. He gave his life. He did the, he had the most, I don't know if you watched The Passion of the Christ, it does not, it, it, it's not even how his body, his bones were out of place, his beard was ripped out. It was worser than what we've seen in that. It was worser. And he did that for you. For you. Most people died of scourging. But Jesus, he went through the bruising, he went through the, the scourging, and he went through the, the um, um, he was beaten, he was chastised, he was kicked around by the soldiers, I mean, you know a demonic force came over these people and the, and, the, and they enjoyed hurting him. They enjoyed hurting Jesus. He did that for you. When he hung on that cross them nine hours, he hung on that cross. He took every sin that any man or woman or child would ever commit on himself. And he went to hell. No, Jesus did not go to, quote, paradise. And wee, 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 wee. He went to hell and he stripped Satan of all his authority over death. Over death. Then judgment has to come. Judgment will come and it's coming quick. The Bible says in the end days the word of God will be preached all over the world. Hello, I'm doing one of it. He said, he said that the Jews will be put back into their homeland, 1948 and 1967 and 69. Jesus said that in this time that, that, um, the, you started, started in the 60s when I was born, and then the hate started, and then pernicious sex, and drugs, alcohol, I mean, it, I mean, it always was, but it was intense in the 60s. I lived that time. I, people say, well, what was it like? I, I, I said, I hated the 70s. I, I, I did not like it. I know what people did in them times. I, I despised it. But what I'm saying is, Jesus loves you. He gave his life. He is God. Do you understand when you walk out and you see that beautiful sky and you see them tree buds coming out every year, that he put it in motion. It's motion. Everything is a seed. When we're put in our mother's wombs, we are seeds and we grow. We're not a blob. That is a child. I just want to tell you that Jesus loves you. Come unto him. All you are heavy laden, and he will give you rest. He loves you so much, I know. Lord, open their eyes. Save the souls. I speak the word of God. I read it. Go forth in Jesus' name. Go forth. In Jesus' name, the breath of God.